Hello everyone, and welcome to Game Night. This week we are playing Dixit, a picture's worth a thousand words. This is a game for three to six players that's a strange mix of art and language. In your hand, you're going to have a series of obscure, strange paintings that it's your job to get the other players to guess your card instead of the one that they play for your clue. So the way it works is the active player will have six cards in their hand and they will choose one of the cards and they will give a clue to the other players. And that clue could be anything they want it to be. But you don't want to be too obvious that everyone guesses your card, but you don't want to be too obscure that no one guesses it either. So for example, with this card here, I might say deadly turn, for example. I wouldn't want to say bird in a maze because that would be too obvious and everyone would guess it. So let's say I said deadly turn. Well, everyone else is going to look at their hand of cards and going to choose a card that closely matches my clue. They will give them to me, I will shuffle them up, and put them face down. So you'll have something like this. Now each player will take one of their tokens and secretly say which card they think is the one that I, the active player, put down. Once everyone has done that, I reveal which card I put down, and everyone scores. The way scoring works is pretty simple. If everyone picked my card, then I get zero points, and everyone else gets two points. If no one picked my card, I get zero points, and everyone else gets two points. If at least one person, but not everyone, chose my card, I get three points, and any player that chose my card also gets three points. Also, if you fooled anyone and got them to pick your card, you get an additional point for every player that chose your card. The game ends. Uh, the, first player to reach, the first player to reach 30 points is the winner, or whoever has the most points once you run out of the deck. That is all there is to Dixit. Let's see who's the most imaginative in the crew. So come and join us. If you guys have seen our Telestrations After Dark Game Night, you know my artistic sense? Zero percent. So I am terrible at this game as well. I just, art doesn't translate through my mind. It's like that section is missing or filled up or something terrible. I just can't, can't do it. Can't do anything art. So I'm bad at this game, but let's see. Okay, so this game seems pretty simple. Um, I fully understand the concept. Um, just be cryptic. Don't be too obvious, but also be accurate and very generalized with your clues. Um, we'll see how this works. Oh, and if anyone says Candyland, I'm ripping it up. All right, put your creative hats on. It's time for Dixit. I have a hat on. No, give it back! No! Oh, Jesus! All right. my Lost hair <laughs> Why would you take my hat away? Let's dick it. I didn't do my hat. Dick it good! No. So, I knew as soon as you did that, Calvin, you're going to cause it. Shane a whole <laughs> bloody Jesus kind of thing. And they just leave it alone. Who is ready to go first? Uh, I'll go first. I'll dick it. <coughs> Whoever's I ready first. first. I said it first. Yeah. Right? I'm older. You've got to have something ready. And Trap. Heavier. Well, I mean, I thought we don't look at them until it's our turn. Okay, Aaron is, Aaron is the primary Aaron player. Aaron looked, Aaron looked. I didn't know that was a rule. <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to look, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, supposed, yeah, to yeah. Cards. we're supposed, you're to... supposed to look. supposed to look. So Aaron said... Trap. Trap. Trap? Trap. Trap. It's a trap! Maybe. Maybe it's music. Trap music? <laughs> Never okay, I, okay, what do I do with mine? So <laughs> you will <coughs> hand them face down to Aaron. <laughs> And he will shuffle oh. them. Shuffle them, oh. Aaron. All right. Went first. First thing I thought of when I saw a little candle burning a rope was a trap. So, thought it worked. Well, it's Aaron. He said trap. There's got to be a fish in the picture. Just any sort of fish. Fish, picking it. And once everyone has done so, he will place them face up. One through five. <laughs> I only have three. Once, yeah, everyone is done. You realize what you're supposed to be doing right now, right? No. Okay. You need to look at your hand of cards. <laughs> well, I'll take a key word for them all. And find one that most represents trap. Trap? Yes. And then hand it to Aaron. No, trap. not a key word for mine. They're so good. You put them down and was like, you're supposed to be doing right. <laughs> okay, okay, now. Can I, can I so hand it? it to Aaron. Give it to Aaron. 
the, the one, not the rest. And then Calvin will do the same. Okay, then you can just stay out. That's fine. I don't want it. I don't want it. Don't slide them across the table. Sorry. Why not? Scott so scratched them. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Because they're actually. This isn't my copy on... anyway. This is Blind Leaf's copy. Yeah. Oh, well then. <laughs> All right. So. You cannot choose your own. Do I vote? No. Okay. You also do not vote. So everyone will take their numbers and will secretly place it in front so of them. So we got to figure out which one Aaron did. Yeah. Trap. And we're doing it secretly. Yeah, so you're picking the number trap of the card and putting it face down out in front of you. We will all reveal them. Okay. It has been done. Okay. Everyone's picked one? Yep. Yep. So. Wait. Yep. Everyone <laughs> flip yours over. Okay. Shane, okay. you gotta pick one. And then, Aaron, which uh, was. So we got put it on. A four, a four. A one and a two. And a two. So, Aaron, which was your card? Mine was number one. One. What? Hmm. That's. How is that a trap? Because, like, he's thinking Indiana Jones or something, I think. It's like, like a candle. It's like burning a rope. And like when, it, very, when it goes, it very goes top, off. If you look, there's a rope on the top of it. So it's a fuse. Uh, yeah. It's like, a, but, it's like a, there's a trap being set. Okay. I, guess, I'm the, it, well, I, I thought four I was I accept off. it. I accept it. However, four <laughs> was mine. All right, so uh, Aaron, yours was number one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so Aaron gets three points. Funny. Okay. Shane gets three points. No. Because he chose correctly. Mm -hmm. My mine was number two, so since someone chose mine, I get one point. Okay. So and you move, are uh, a move, uh, blue. Blue. Move blue up one. And who played number four? Me. Eric. Played Eric gets four. two points, which is white. Yay. Whitey. <laughs> okay. And it did work because Shane luckily thought just like he should have. Gave me three points. Everyone else got a couple points, but I got the most. Okay. Uh, I can definitely see how I had messed that one up. Um, trap. I, I was kind of more focused on what my card was going to be versus really try to guess what it actually is. But as I learn how the game plays, hopefully I can get a lot, lot better. Well, I feel like this is going to go like every other game that has a hand of cards that have to be very specific. Um, I don't have the right cards, and it seems like I get the right cards the hand after I needed them. Just like Cards Against Humanity. All right, so Calvin, if you can Crap. scrunch those cards together, and every round that we go, put them like <clears throat> cross on each other so I can okay. keep them straight for each round. So just put them up there? Yep. Do I draw a card? Everyone draws a card. No. Oh. I get a card. Yeah, I get a card. Yeah. I'm next. Yep, it goes clockwise. Well, then it's Rick's turn. Oh, so it'll be me. <laughs> God damn it. You took too long. Give that to Eric. No, I didn't. Please. I, I was the first one to say it. Two, you weren't the first one to give a clue? Six. That wasn't the qualifier. It, 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 was. it was in the beginning. Now it just goes in a row. Now it goes in clockwise, yeah. yeah. You just didn't hear that part. No, I, I was saying, let's talk about earlier. I heard it this time. <laughs> No, I need fool. <laughs> All right. My clue is Cuphead. Okay, Cuphead. I'm worried about this one being too obvious. I know Aaron and Shane have played the game. It's a 2D platformer, really hard, like Contra. Awesome. Amazing. But I'm hoping Eric and Calvin don't know what it is. Cuphead. Huh. Rick, there's no way he would put the king dice and the devil on top of it. Obviously, that's a Cuphead re reference right there, but it feels too obvious. Is it too obvious? Everyone, Everyone reveal in place. All right, you guys can't see the reveal, but I said five. I said four. Thank God for Shane, because it was number five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, damn, okay. <laughs> so what made you think four? Uh, because there's a lot of tornado animations in it. Mm-hmm, there are. Okay. Yeah. Five, I was afraid was too obvious. Yeah. I was afraid that was too obvious as well. <laughs> All right. So everyone that picked five. I thought maybe this one because yeah. you guys are saving each other a that lot. That would have been a good one to pick, Calvin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty good. So that's mine. <laughs> well, I, 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 I kind of thought that uh, too, but I was like, I don't know. The tornado thing kind of makes yeah, sense. That was but, mine. All right. So mine may have been a bit too obvious. So everyone except yellow gets three points. Woo. 
move the white three, please. Yay. All right. And who played number four? Uh, I did. Oh, wait. Eric gets Everyone an additional point. Yellow. Yay. Eric is white. Yeah, he I know, is. but he's fixing a mistake you made, I guess. Yeah. So go up three. So that one goes Just up three, and then sure. mine goes up one more. Eric goes yeah. up one more. Damn All right. It. Damn it. Todd, baby. Next round. Woo. Got Stu going. It is Eric's turn. Everyone gets that. My turn. Oh, okay, let me get my number back. Here's your card, Eric. Oh, that was awesome. Hope you can reach that. That's Bounce chain. You caught it. <coughs> Do I reveal and say? No. 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 Yeah. Okay. Face down. Okay, that's right. You're right. Give the hint. Okay, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> uh, mine is Madison. 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 Wisconsin? Is that a name? Madison. Square Garden? It's a street. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, with my round, I have this picture of it looks like eggs. I mean, they got windows and stuff too. But mainly, when I look when I first looked at them, I thought, "Huh, bunch of eggs, real big eggs, because they're like the size of houses." What's something real big? Godzilla. What looks like a bunch of eggs? Uh, the the 1998 Emmerich movie Godzilla. Uh, Madison Square Garden. Madison. I figured somebody would be on my level. Uh, let's see if it happens. I have no idea what the fuck he's doing. Eric, I think you're having a stroke. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Everyone pick the same one. That way it maximizes our odds of getting three points and him getting none. <laughs> 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 or two points or whatever. All right. One, five, one, three. Eric, what did you... What did you do? Which one was mine? Yes. Yeah, what number? Mine was number two. Ah. Why, Eric? Madison Square Garden in the movie, the hit movie, Godzilla, oh had gosh. many eggs all over it. I figured that's... one of you guys would get it. No, that's ridiculous. It's I not ridiculous. Purposely purposely there's, there's windows don't in Don't think about eggs. that movie. <laughs> I, I wanted someone not to think about it. I was thinking of Madison. I some, when I first saw that, I'm like, yeah, it's like the Godzilla eggs in Madison Square Garden. So that's what I went with. I was thinking Madison Avenue and I don't know. <sighs> what would Madison Avenue be? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what Massacre Garden Godzilla eggs. I didn't get that far. You should have said Dwixby. You <laughs> <laughs> should have said Matthew Broderick. I'm happy with my... I would have gotten it. All right, so... You made it. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone except White gets two points. Okay. Well, it didn't happen. Uh, for me to be able to compete, I'm going to have to dumb myself down a whole lot more than I thought... Uh, I was going to be at. So uh, that's really unfortunate. We'll see what happens next. Maybe I can, uh, I, can, I can push my reference back and maybe not go so many levels deep so that I don't lose uh, my ability to, to score points on my turn. Don't know what the hell he was thinking. Obviously, he was thinking incorrectly because no one else thought that way. So he went way too deep of a reference of a movie, especially Rick doesn't like. And no one likes. Japan has exiled that entire movie. And that entire creature. They killed it in a second. Why would you reference that, of all things? I should have gotten that clue. Like, I even mentioned it before the round started. Um, I, I just didn't, uh, didn't pick up on it because the eggs had windows in them. It, it just completely threw me for, for eggs. I was thinking, oh, those are just miniature buildings. And that's my fault. I need to, I need to work through just my first appearance of, of what the card is. Um, hopefully I can catch up. I'm in last place now. Everyone Two. except White. Because no one Two. got his card. Two. And Two. Now who played number one? Um, who was what number one in this picture? Me. So uh, Shane Yellow gets two points. Two. Who played number three? I did. Aaron, who is green, gets one point. And I, who am blue, gets one point because I played number five. How did Aaron get that far ahead? I've gotten points every turn. Okay. Now it is Shane's turn. No, no. gets the next card. No. Shane, coming to you. No, oh, Rick. Rick. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Why? Just throw me all the way at the top there. I think that's where I was last time. Was what have I done? I think he was... <laughs> I'm no longer in charge of the cards. No, you shouldn't have been in charge to begin with. <sighs> do we need to check the tape? Yeah, we do. Uh, I don't know what they were on. Um... Yeah, maybe. All right. Shane? That game company. That game company? Yes, that game company. Hmm. 
think Shane and I are one mind on this. One mind, one mind. Flip him over. Number two. Mine's number two. I said number one. Why would you pick number one? I was thinking. Okay. Shane, <laughs> which one is it? Um, why'd you pick number one, Aaron? Um, I'm, I was trying to think what that game company is. The first thing I thought of was that thread yarn game where they travel through a random world, and for some reason that made me think of it. Game company? I don't, I don't know. Who picked three? Who Cal picked did. three? Did I, pick I, picked, I picked three. Why'd you, why'd you do three? Well, just fucking tell us the yeah, answer. just tell us. Jesus. We'll, we'll change the game. It is two. It is yeah. two. Thank that you. game company was the developer of the critically acclaimed PS3 game called Flower. Indeed. Okay. One of Maggie's favorite games. Uh, I, uh, was being obscure because I, I didn't want everyone to get it, but I wanted Wait, Rick or Aaron score. to get it. Exactly. I, I also picked two because it was legitimately random. I said, <laughs> I have no idea. I put two down. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I expected Aaron to get that one. I, I, had, the good, I, I had a good I instinct. It Mine was I, random I'm, as I'm well. not accounting for guessing. They also yeah. made Journey. Yeah, they made Journey. I almost said Journey. Sure. To throw people off. I'm like, well, it's still. I, I still would have gotten it. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. All okay, right. Let's so, go through. Uh, right. Let's see. So green, who played number one? I did. So Calvin gets one point. Yay. Calvin, what were you thinking when you put number one? Uh, this one? Yeah. I don't have a card that fits this okay. at all, so I'm going to play this one that I okay. haven't been able to play. Uh, uh, Sh Shane why do you gets get a, three points. Yeah. Why do you get a point again when you're wrong? No. He got a point because someone picked his card. Oh, yeah. So he tricked okay. someone. So uh, Shane, what color are you? Yellow. Three. Gets three points. One, two, three. I get three points, and Eric gets three points because we chose the correct card. And who played number three? Me. So white gets an additional point. And I was thinking maybe you could look at it like a Wemo or PlayStation mm. Move look to it. I don't know who picked this one. It just didn't. Because nobody cared I, for it. Didn't it didn't evoke, like, I, I didn't, that's I don't a know, game. I didn't think about it. People anyway. think that's See, a game. I thought it was going to be like EA. Yeah. And they weigh. Like money more than justice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I semi thought of that as well. I was like, well, pay to win. EA Sports, money over justice. <laughs> okay, everybody that was my gets a new process. card. No one, no one got it. No one got it. Calvin, you good? Yeah. What's your clue? I spy. Sexual feeling, baby. <laughs> well, this is the most obvious one we've had yet. No, I'm kidding. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I spy. I always look here instead of looking up there. Yeah, yeah. me too. It's so much better looking up there. It's much better. <clears throat> we have a, a TV that shows the camera output, those who are watching the game night. Okay. Almost any of those could work, couldn't they? All right. Okay. And reveal? The reveals are five. Five for me. One. I can fucking flip them. Two and five. Two and five. Okay. Okay. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is number two. Number two. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I between one and two. And I picked five. Uh, who, you played five? You he mean? played yeah, five. Okay. Yeah. five yeah. I played one. Uh -huh. I, was be I was between one and two. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is too obvious. Okay, Only so a fool would pick that if one. If you guys are thinking <laughs> about I Spy books yeah. when you were kids, how yeah. they had just a whole bunch of random little shit exactly. piled around. That's exactly that's what I was saying. That's why I chose yeah. the first one. Yeah, guy. that's also why I played well, the first I, one. Well, I, I was have done that with the first one, and then I thought with Shane's that I spy with my little eye. Little eye, you usually have a magnifying glass. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. your eye is too Which little. It, well, could be. That's why yeah. I thought it would be a good clue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's one I wanted to save for later. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I was between one and two, and of course, you know, I picked Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so who, who uh, played Blue number gets one, one point. Who, who played number one? I did. So okay. Blue gets one point. Uh, Calvin gets three points. Mm -hmm. Shane gets three points, who's yellow. Mm -hmm. And who played number five? Shane did, right? So he gets two more he points. He gets two more points. And he is up to 15 All points. Right. Whoa. Bunch of fucking cheat. Whoa. <laughs> Bunch of fucking cheat. It'll be your turn, Aaron. Wow. I'm glad you picked mine. I'm sorry I couldn't recuperate. Re reciprocate. I thought we were reciprocate. <laughs> reciprocate. Like the saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shane has a commanding lead. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. The psychology class has paid off, I guess. I don't know. Whose turn is it? All right, Aaron. Aaron's. Okay. James. 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 I know what card I wish I had. Do you? Wait, do you have... Do you oh. know all the cards? No, oh. but... And it, like... 
when you said that, an image comes to my mind. I'm like, I have no card with that image. Gotcha. Um, is this one upside down? I think this one is upside down. Look at the back. Yeah, it's upside down. <coughs> it's like her hair and him. See, I have to take into consideration Aaron's illiteracy. Mm. Yeah. When I make this choice. <laughs> what does that mean? Like it's not book related? Ah, exactly. Okay. There you go. <laughs> what does that mean? All right, now we're all done. Reveal. Mine is number one, one. two, number five. three. I am we all four. Pick differently. No, five, two, fives. Okay. All right. All right, well, Aaron, Aaron which one was, was your the real one? Number three. Three. Okay. okay. Why is that James? Well, because if I went further with what I was thinking, it would have made it obvious, I think. Okay. Well, well, I was going with James and the giant, giant peach. peach. I thought me so. too. What I was like, looking me for. Me too. But I was like, it's like a giant peach behind him is what I thought of. Yeah. Like it's like a peach. Maybe. I don't think of that a fruit line. I see a fucking old, like. A, it's like a peach background. Like that's the one that I was pulling for. But it's for. giant. <laughs> <laughs> that's the stupidest clue ever. Well, why did you pick yours? Why well, pick that? Yeah. I was thinking you thinking. I was thinking you were thinking James and a giant peach. You're like, well, these people are little and this person's giant. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's so, even gosh. less related. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's like, still these peach people, background. Yeah. Who, why was five picked? I've never seen it, but I figured maybe the guy from Ratatouille is named James. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I was starting thinking. I was, I was thinking <laughs> Me. I, I thought know. I was trying to think of Pixar movies. Like. And then why was one picked? Uh, I, that was mine. I thought of, well, James. And I did think of James and the Giant Peach. And mm. then I thought, maybe he means, like, think of James. Jack and the Beanstalk. Giant Peach. There's, uh, like, vegetation in there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was between one and four also. But, so like, I, I, I actually took out... F f I mean, I, <laughs> Eliminated one because I'm like I just don't know if there's any plants like that. I, I was for some reason I was thinking that when I thought of James the Giant Peach, like a kid on a journey. But like I the know. peach, like he buries it and then it's huge, so like yeah, yeah. So it grows. Yeah. 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 Okay, right. so uh, blue me gets one point for playing number one. Okay. And Aaron gets no points. Right. right. And may God have mercy on uh, his we, soul. <laughs> uh, we all get two points because no one got Aaron's. Okay. One two. Except for one green. two. One two. One, two. You guys played number four. One, two. No, I don't. No, nope. put him back. Oh, that's. I mean, yeah. you except for mine. <laughs> you said green, and I was like, oh yeah. yeah. Who played number four? I did. So pink gets and, one point. And I yeah. And then five was me. So white gets two points. Eric, did you have you had some special reason why you picked what you picked or something? Okay, so you said James. I immediately thought Jesse James. Team Rocket blast off the speed of the light, and then down there, meow. That's right. <laughs> <Wait there. laughs> down at the bottom. I see it. I see it. I, I can uh, I can get behind but it's, that. But it's like when I put it down, I looked it up. I'm like, well, that's a mouse, not a cat. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I stuck Dang. to my guns. Yeah. See, I had some other ones in my hand, and I'm like, sure. I like these ones, but I was like, I really want to try this James and the Giant Peach idea yeah. and see if anyone gets it. That was that was good, Aaron. No one did. All right, I took a risk. I can't believe no one got James and the Giant Peach. This is kind of the first thing I popped in my mind. I thought saying James was enough. I thought saying Giant Peach would be too much. So. The whole background was peach. I couldn't just say peach. I didn't get any points. I'm going to lose. Useless. Dunsel. You looked right into my soul <laughs> when you said that. <laughs> Useless, huh? I guess my question is, what is that picture in number three? Is that... It looks like Useless. a bassinet in the woods. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like someone just left it. Like Hook. Jeez. <laughs> I guess it's useless. <laughs> no. it's so fucking dark. <laughs> it's the first oh card you put gosh. down. That's dark. <laughs> uh, all right. Calvin's done it. The reveal in three, two, one. I picked four. I picked four. Shane? Four. Okay. I think, well, this Eric, being Rick. You read my soul. <clears throat> yeah? It's number four. It's number four. <laughs> yes. Calvin, why'd you pick one? Because you're just going around in a circle. There's no point to it. <laughs> why that, did no one pick this baby in the forest? <laughs> that's why dark. No it's one, too dark. <laughs> I don't understand why people didn't pick umbrellas in the sunshine. Well, I see, that's perfect. I thought, oh, that's a good one. Because the outside is worthless. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought see, about that for too. me, like <laughs> it's it's outside, and they were playing outside. Yeah, uh, I didn't, you know. So I thought that would be wor worthless to you. So <laughs> I thought this little boy versus this giant dragon would be useless. See, that's sure. why I was between that. Yeah. And like, if well, Rick, Can't would, Rick would think picked. that's futile and worthless. Can't believe someone picked. If he saw that in the show, he, he, he would think. <laughs> he, I, I should have picked a different one. 
There's a lot another, of good ones. There's another one I have in here that I'm thinking now. I'm like, man, that would have been a good one too. Yeah. But I saw that one. I, I just played it immediately. Okay. So I was like, that's great. Yep. All right. So, uh, who played number one? Calvin, right? No. Nope. He, well, Calvin he put on it. Oh, Shane put it on there, right? Okay, so. Shane played it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I did here. Okay, I get three points. Uh, oh. blue. blue. Yellow gets three points. Damn. White gets three points. Damn. Green gets three points. Oh, man. I'm so far back there. And I believe that's, that's it. it. Yep. Yep. That's it. Well, uh, I should get a point because I used the background. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Baby Lost in the Woods or Left Alone is too dark. We'll remember that. The Lost City of Candor. Am I allowed to use Google? <laughs> All right, I went with Lost City of Candor because I thought, well, anybody that has any a limited amount of DC knowledge, Aaron would definitely get this one. Uh, so I'm hoping he gets it. No one else understands. Got it in the bag. What the hell is up with Eric and these clues? I have no idea. I'm just gonna pick a random. Lost City of Candor? Well, I put down this card that's got a tiny little city. Tiny things are easy to lose, right? Okay, uh, I'll give it one more she uffle. She uful. What if we go to them all? The game's Got over. Aaron. Whoever Sorry. has the most points wins once the deck is empty. Thingies. All right. Jabal. Jabal. You put them out weird. Jabal. I'm mixing them up while I put them out. Well, there are two that are quite similar. Yeah. Well, yeah, there is. Isn't Actually, there's... Two pairs that are quite similar. Two have snails. Two have raindrops. Yeah. And one is just fucking not it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's what two skies. Will people vote for. Uh -huh. Okay. It's basically Reveal. random. Five, three, I picked two. Two and five. Okay, so the number was two, <laughs> uh, which I think... Now, the point of this is to have as little... Yeah. Somebody to pick it, but yep. only a couple. You did it perfectly. I figured Aaron would understand that the Lost City of Kandor that Brainiac collects from Krypton would be in little bottles, and that's probably why he put the same one there, too, right? Well... I mixed it up and picked it randomly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I, I figured... Well, I don't know what it is, but yeah. someone else does. Okay. So yes. it's got to be two or five because they're so yeah, similar. Mine yeah. was two or five, yeah. Yeah. And I, I just I just That's guessed. crazy you had one as close to mine as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yours is actually better than mine for what I gave. Yeah. Because at least it's one thing. I mean, and there's a world a bunch in of it. cities, but yeah. still. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I, well. I picked five as well. Okay, so... Eric and Aaron both get three points. Yay. Yeah. So white and green. <coughs> Who played number three? Who me. played number three? Me. Okay. What was your reasoning? Uh, I, I didn't really uh, know what it was, and I was thinking, like, I, I, I just had no idea what it was. And I was thinking maybe there's a city up there, and it's, it was a lost city of something, so I would just think of something fantastical. Yeah. You and know Calvin, I mean? you picked? I did the... Exact same I thing. Did. Yes. And I can't believe we both came up with snails. <laughs> yeah, you know, I looked at that. I'm like, I want the snow, the snail would throw people off. Um, yeah. uh, and then, so you played five, Aaron? No. Calvary. I played five. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So Do you know what Lost City of Candor is? No. <laughs> so you was just a little happened tiny to city. pick something that's better than my clue given. <laughs> yes. And you didn't know. I didn't know. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it is. What a, what a chaotic game. So. And, I, and I just randomly picked your answer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Really? So, it was just did you, random. Did you not see me? I figured you were playing. I had him here, and I'm like, one, two, one, two, no. one, two. He this one, and I didn't look. He literally didn't It could have been any number. All right, well, <laughs> my game. Do you know what the Lost City Candor was? Nope. Okay. I, just I thought it was a Lord of the Rings thing. I just thing. told you this like three weeks ago. I thought it was a Lord of the Rings thing. So what are the points, no. here? What are points here? <laughs> uh, the points are already given. Okay. I'm sure. Oh, man. So I put mine with a little door, like it's a leading to... Some lost that, city. I, I know one, it's missing. I overestimated. Hmm? 
Did I go up one? The only yes, reason you, you okay. got any points, Eric, was because of sheer luck because on my of part. random, I guess. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Yeah, same, I, same I, for I me. I was I only completely it. different. I only picked it because it had a tiny city. <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad I got it. Bag ripped apart all over the place. I don't got shit. Aaron didn't get it. However, it still kind of worked out for me. By sheer dumb luck. It's just chance that I got this. I can't believe that that I got this so close. And and it's so close that even Eric thinks it was Aaron. It's great. He really did lose his marbles, didn't he? Yeah, he lost them good. Okay. okay. Shane definitely just made a hook reference. There's no way Calvin's gonna get this one. Well, it's a 90s reference, so I'm probably fucked. Um, most of Shane's references are 90s. Most of the time I'm fucked. I'm gonna go Turtles. Turtles seems like a likely guess. That is a very specific <laughs> 90s reference. So Calvin is screwed. All right, I'm Look at his screwed I'm face. One of these three. <laughs> <laughs> And the clue was? Huh? He really, really did lose his marbles, marbles didn't he? Yeah. yeah, he did. Okay. I've never been so sure of anything in my life. I'm not sure, because this could just be brilliant, but I'm going to go with this one. I was less sure when I asked Maggie to propose to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shane, what was your card? It was five. Five. Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay, what, what was the reference now? It was from the movie Hook. Hook. Yeah. Okay. I almost said five. There's a wait, bunch of things. Wait, Calvin, why did you pick five then? Because I thought it was from Turtles, and I thought they were eating. Ninja <laughs> <laughs> Turtles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't, I've only seen Hook like once or twice, and it was years ago. So that is clearly the invisible... Food, the, right? I almost said the imaginary food yes. slash food. So fight like, scene. I just thought you guys would always get it no matter what I did. Yeah. And if I wasn't specific enough, you wouldn't get it. I almost said Steven Spielberg, and then I'm like, oh well, I almost said Robin Williams. Yeah. And I almost just said you're doing it, Peter. I'm like, no, because then they'll know it's. Yeah, you know I mean, I was trying to hope I can be vague, and then maybe someone else will put up a card that might also be kind of like mine, and well, it would split everybody. That's I that's wanted why everyone I to get it except Cal yeah. That's why I specifically put the rat. Because you thought it was a turtle-related reference. I thought it was yeah. turtle-related. I wanted to split the vote with Splinter. I put okay. number four because Tinkerbell. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I, I put number one because there's pirate ants fighting on top of gold. I, I, he said that was like, I guess, Hook and Rufio fight? Wait, sword that's fighting? gold? I thought those were pancakes. No, that's no, gold. There's gold. <laughs> I there's pancakes uh, too. It's gold. <laughs> there's was, ridges on the, on the side of the corner. I'm like, I guess they're eating. Coin. But like, why don't you go with that? I should have <laughs> mentioned that. You might have picked that one. You might have. <laughs> I legitimately had no good one, so I just put the chess one because I've had it for a long time. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank goodness for Eric not picking the food. He picked the pirates fighting, pirate ants fighting. I was going to save it for an Avengers reference, but didn't. Pirate time, how to use it. <laughs> so yeah, like I, I was torn on my keyword. Okay, so know? three so, points so. to Shane, right? At three for green. Yep. Wait, to I'm Shane. Sorry. Three for yellow. Yeah. We can three for Shane yellow. First. Three for green. Three for pink. Yay! And three for blue. No. And who played number one? I did. So one for green. <sighs> okay, I'll give a word or a phrase or a sentence or a song. Grievous. Hmm. Grievous. Grievous. Uh, I feel like a couple things kind of can link, but it depends on what he means by the word. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that's the problem. Yeah. That's tough. But, but he's also thinking about us when he makes the card. Yeah, but he doesn't want it to be too accurate where all of us think the same thing. I need to pick not Shane's. Right? That is true. Did Number four makes me think of Seinfeld. <laughs> Joe. Okay. All right. That's all of them. Flip all right. them. Joe DeVola. Right? You didn't flip it at all. Number two. Ooh, okay. Mm. Ooh, a 50-50 okay. split. Right. Those, are, those are the two that I was between. Yeah. Okay. So I see what you were going for with number one, mm -hmm. but it was number two. Damn. Number two. Yeah. Okay, because? Because he's a puppet. Mm. All right. 
and he can detach his limbs. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, but so this I, is also very good. I played a, number a heart one, trapped in a vessel. Yeah, good. Right, Lungs with a shame. All right, Rick gets two points. Two points. Yep. I get three points. Um, Shane gets three oh. points, and, and Rick. Rick already got. Gets, I get three. Yeah, he gets three. Yep. Again. I'm catching you. Yep. I'm gonna get you. For that one, I was trying to go for a Star Wars reference, just obscure enough that some of them would get it and some of them wouldn't. Um, some of them caught on to it, so I'm glad I got some points. I'm not in last place now. I'm gonna say good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Aha! He doesn't know I know this one. It's clearly Truman Show. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> yeah, I would say nothing. But I think I know what it is. Rick, hmm? I think you played the one I saw. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good that you're not voting. <laughs> Perfect timing. <Okay. laughs> all right, it's all four. All right, and reveal. All right, so that, that, that. All right. Well, Rick's was number five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so. mine was number one. Yeah. yeah. Right. Truman Show, clearly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it worked, right? You guys yeah, get it? It works great. great. I okay. thought. I was, I was trying to like not be super obvious, but. Yeah. So I thought one was too obvious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm like, well, it's a showman, Truman Show. I don't, I don't know. So, so five you went with because. Uh, he's a guy being toyed with. Three. It's fake. I don't know. <laughs> See, uh, isn't that also that George Clooney movie where what? he's a, a newscaster it's all in black and white well if I felt like it was a fake world you know like he's being meddled with gotcha. like, well, maybe yeah, I, mean, I thought a Truman show immediately but it's I, I think it's also a sign off for another person too yeah, yeah I too. thought a Truman show and, and I think it's the were George you thinking Clooney Truman show? yeah it was because well, it also reminded me of like this the, yeah. like he goes across the water and the other side oh, there's yeah. like yeah. Oh, yeah. Out, no it's perfect I, I didn't think of the Truman show at all until I saw that card I was like oh it's so obvious yeah oh, wow. yep all right, so luckily some people thought of the Truman Show. I was hoping that it was kind of obvious, but not too obvious, and people kind of don't understand or don't remember, or Calvin has no fucking idea about a movie. That's what I was going for. And I got some points. It worked a little bit. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm right behind Shane. I can win! Prince of... Prince... Of. And that's prints like royalty, not like fingerprints. <laughs> okay. Fingerprints? <laughs> no way. Or like artwork. Right. Prints of. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, you're a spirit animal, dude. <laughs> I, I knew Shane would get it. I mean, you don't know if he got it, though. No, he got it. Maybe looking at something No, else. he got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think Rick's, just, Rick's looking at Shane. Like, Shane's going to know this one. I'm going to know this one, too. I guarantee I've got it. Let me try to pick the right one. That would be stupid if I laid down the wrong number. I've done it before. I'm going to go with, but do I want to pick Rick's? Not Rick's. I mean, I'm not going to win. I'm last. But I could be ahead of the other two. <laughs> yeah, I, mine's kind of a junk vote, but we'll see. Everyone picked? Yeah. Yep. No All idea. right. What did everyone pick? Mine's number five. Mine's number five. Mine's three. Mine is three. Yeah. It's definitely three. Prince, Prince, of, Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, Sands, Sands of, of Time. time. Yep. Okay. Oh. Dang it. Sands of Time. I should have known. That's, the, that's like one of the, the several games that Shane and Rick talk about constantly. It's one of their favorite games, and I just... Ah, Prince of Persia. Dang it! Oh, so glad I got it. I was considering just saying Prince, Prince of, Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, the Sands, I don't know. But I knew Shane would get it with the Prince, and it worked. I, you know, I really did think about that, but I was thinking, well, I don't want to give points, so I don't know. Yeah. I, think I was thinking, at first I was going to say Prince of Persia. I was like, that's too obvious. I'm just going to say Prince of. Yeah. I know Shane will get it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, and uh, we've got a couple other princes as well. I one, definitely see prince in one two, and two. Three, and I go one, two, because this is mine too. Okay. 
I went for something obscure because it seemed like it. So I went with the hairband thing, and then I was yeah. thinking Prince of Asgard for number one. I think it's kind of like yeah. a ring. Yeah, I you put know? that one down because it was like the most regal mm-hmm. thing. I could well, find. and Prince of Persia three kind of reminds, yeah, like it kind of reminds me of like the black and then the gold, like one, that thing sure. chasing after you. So I can. Yeah. I put them at thirty one and thirty two. Yeah. <coughs> Damn. So, yep. I, 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 was catching bit, up. Rick. I was catching up. All right. Well, Rick won. Yep. Huh, I can't believe I won. I've never won this game ever. Over 100 times played, I think, around there. Never, never won. Can't believe it. So excited. All right. Well, we just finished game. I really, really liked it. Uh, I was ahead for a while, but I, I kind of figured, like, when I started understanding the game, uh, that Rick and Eric, I feel like that we were all going to be up top. I didn't get a lot of opportunities to have like something that I knew just Eric and me uh, would understand. Just the nature of the game, of the cards that I got. Uh, and, and Rick said that he's never ever won, and he's terrible. Uh, so we all must just be average. But he knows us; we know him. Um, I'm, and shout out to Rick for getting the flower reference. That was awesome. Um, yeah, I just love the game. I would, I would play it again. Definitely recommend it. Yes. All right, so I got a few points at the very end, came in third. It wasn't enough. I fell too far behind in the mid-game. I couldn't come out on top, but good job. I'm glad Rick got to finally win a game sometime. Uh, yeah, a uh, really fun game. I, I felt like I played a lot of the, the my parts incorrectly. I, I went for obvious when people went for not obvious, and then I went for not obvious when people were going for obvious, and my wires were getting crossed, so... Uh, yeah, congratulations to Rick. I'm glad that he's finally won a game night, considering game night's kind of his thing. Uh, so anyway, maybe I'll get there next time. We'll see. But I definitely want to play this one again. Back in last place. Yeah, it's definitely one of mine that gets no. played the most often because you can play it with anyone. Yeah. So we parents, must be bad because you never win and you're not, you're not that good at it. I am terrible at this game. Okay, but, so we must, we must be really terrible. Well, also, I, I know you guys really well, yeah. which helps. So yeah. you play the clues that we know. Because sometimes kids will just go off the fucking wall. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what? Or Eric. Doesn't make any sense. Sometimes Eric will just go off the wall. Like a Godzilla reference. <laughs> yeah, I tried to dumb myself down the rest of the, the game. But turn, <laughs> turn, turn on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's the final scores. Thank you so much for joining us for this game night, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future game nights as well as uh, the oncoming uh, RPG uh, session series that we're going to be running. And make sure you guys check out in the description links where there is our uh, store and links to Patreon and early access and full length and all other kinds of cool things. Twitch. Twitch as well. Damn it.